that's pretty nice deer. Really long beams. Five by five. So he wasn't crowned out, but he looked like a you know, like a decent five by five elk is kind of his configuration. I just know that there's gonna be bigger ones in here. We've got a little bit more time, so I think I'm just gonna have to hold out, even though I still wouldn't don't even have a shot. I just could see his horns for a little bit in the trees and then he's slipped away. So it's thick, man. Some serious bush stalking here. New Zealand is a diverse place. One day you can hunt tar and chamois in the alpine. The next, you might find yourself stalking in heavily timbered forests hunting red deer. Many of the best deer live and die in thick terrain. I'm hunting the very end of the roar, which can make it tough, but with a little luck, I might find a good stag hiding out among the ferns. Through a friend, I got access to hunt a piece of bush that holds a few good red deer, and even the occasional wild sheep. For this hunt, my main hunt tactic is going to be what is locally known as bush stalking. Quietly moving through thick covered brush, listening and looking, in hopes of catching a big stag before he catches me. Red deer is uh, it's a pretty thick bush. It's pretty steep. It's really forested, and I heard one roar across from me earlier. So what I'm doing is just like an, an elk hunting tactic that I use. I get to where I think they're going to come out and feed in the evening, and just set up and wait and see if I can spot them. I haven't heard anything since, but this kind of country is pretty steep, um, and pretty thick. So even just to get the a glimpse of a deer is pretty tough. Even though it is thick, I start to pick out deer moving in little openings through the brush. But as quickly as they appear, they also disappear. And I know that I'll have my work cut out for me. Pretty nice deer. Really long beams. Five by five. So he wasn't crowned out, but he looked like a you know like a decent five by five elk is kind of his configuration. Uh, I just know that there's gonna be bigger ones in here. We've got a little bit more time, so I think I'm just gonna have to hold out just one little pocket in the trees. I could see him, and now I don't see him at all. Valid deer just walked out behind me while I was filming the stag. piece of private ground right now. I've got permission to hunt red deer, which is hard enough to get, but I don't have permission to get hunt fallow, so it's a big buck too. He's just gonna have to walk. 
If you want to see more from behind the scenes or get some exclusive mobile content, connect with us on our website or social media at Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. A lot of people ask me, Remy, you're carrying a bow and a gun. Are you bow hunting or are you rifle hunting? Good question. My answer to that is, if I have a rifle, I'm rifle hunting. But I, at heart, am a bow hunter. Although filming myself and hunting with a bow has not been conducive to extreme success. Therefore, I've switched to filming myself shooting things with a rifle and carrying the bow with the extra weight just so in the odd chance that I run into something that is close and I can get the camera set up then I'll bow hunt. So, user mail answered there. This morning I'm just walking up this old logging road. It goes pretty much straight up the mountain to get into the other side of where I was last night. Just a little bit further, the sun's already up. I'm a little bit late coming in here. It took me longer than I thought. It's actually been a pretty good climb. Can't really see anything but bush, but this old logging road's just cut out enough where I'm not fighting the bush. Even though I'm hunting deer, a wild sheep would be an awesome bonus. So if I happen to run into one in a good spot, it's a great opportunity to take one with my bow. I'm getting below where I think those rams went. I'm hoping that they bedded up in here, but it's just thick. I mean, you can see it's jungle looking country. It's like something out of Jurassic Park. Figured I'd drop the rifle because it's going to be close quarters in here and just stalk through the bush. Maybe I can run into a deer, but I did see some sheep come down here a little bit earlier today, so odds are I probably won't be able to find them in here or spooking them, but it's worth a shot to just kind of still hunt and sneak around and see what I can find.
out all right. It was uh, pretty tough getting that on video because the hill was so steep and uh, so much brush and stuff in the way. Every time I'd see them, I couldn't get them on video. Every time I could video them, I couldn't get a shot. I think I was there for over an hour waiting for a shot on one of those rams. I could tell that the white-faced one was bigger, so uh, I figured, well, I'm so close, I think I can wait for the bigger one. Get to where I... Oh, arrow. Looking good. Didn't, uh, must have broke off. I think he rolled from right here. This is where I last saw him disappear too, so I figured, uh, Heard him roll, so I think he's probably below here. And this is only five yards from where he was standing. There you go. It's just, yeah, it actually got pretty good penetration and broke off halfway, so it must have just hit the shoulder. Going in. Not ideal, but uh, at that range doesn't really make a difference. Maybe there's a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow. Yep, oh, there he is. I'll get it propped up here. Make it make it look pretty cool well I think what this means is ram chops for dinner or leg of ram leg of ram I think uh, I'm just day hunting this area so I'm heading back to I'm staying in my buddy's shed actually so head back there it's got a little oven and everything and roast this ram up It'll be pretty good back leg Oh, today's Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. <laughs> it's a good day. Oh, wait, this today. Today's American Easter. Yesterday was New Zealand Easter. Yeah. All right. Time to get him cut up, and then I may still have time to hunt hunt deer this evening. It's pretty kind of fogging in up above. I don't know if I'll be able to see much by the time I get this done. Brought to you by Solo Hunter Brand Apparel and the Solo Nation. Boast your brand today and join the Solo Hunter revolution. Well, the weather moved in last night and uh, this morning it's just light drizzle. Uh, the weather keeps coming and going so it'll kind of be foggy and then clear. Uh, rain a little bit but it's not too bad it seems to be getting the animals moving I've actually spotted a, a decent stag already across from here and now it's disappeared because the fog is rolled in hopefully this fog lifts otherwise I've got a lot of things going against me That's a pretty good size rub. It's about six and a half feet or more. It's nice looking. I'm pretty sure I saw the stag that made this.
All right, that was cool. I wanted to get a big stag. That's an awesome, awesome animal. I'm excited. Man, I am pumped. This is awesome. This is a, uh, this has been a really fun hunt. I passed up a few really good looking stags that I normally wouldn't pass up, but one of the bigger body stags I've seen, and that's probably why his antlers are so good. He just came into the rut, good health. Now the work begins. I'm gonna get him cut up and take the back straps and the cape in one trip, and then come back for the rest of the meat in two or three other trips. So it's uh, still early in the morning. I should be done around dark probably won't bring the camera back on the next two pack trips because it's just a pain. <laughs> Hunting doesn't stop once you shoot the animal. That's about when the real work begins. As a hunter, there's no better feeling than the privilege to carry a heavy pack off the mountain. Some weeks just go better than you could have expected, and this was one of those weeks. It's the reason I am constantly drawn to New Zealand. It seems that no matter where I am, or what I'm hunting, I always seem to find an awesome adventure. All right, see you at the bottom.